What advice do you give a guy who comes in and says, hey, look, I, I want to I wanna bank my sperm. I want to freeze my sperm. I don't place value judgments. I say, good idea, especially obviously for chemo, for cancer survivors and things like, I don't care what you think might happen with your cancer. I would still bank it. What yeah. paternal age do you worry about? National guidelines for sperm donation, 40 is considered older paternal age, 50 for sure. If you look at risks to offspring, those go up with paternal age. Then you look at birth defects when they're born, those go up, with, you know, one to two fold. And then the worrisome ones are the single gene defects and the epigenetics like psychiatric morbidity. So the autism, schizophrenia, dyslexia, bipolar disorder, potentially Alzheimer's in offspring. And you think the inflection is 40 or 50? I think it's more like 60. Okay. I think there's a slow linear increase in risk to offspring from 25 to 50 or 60. But I think the female curve is on top of the male curve. Are they very high probability of thawing correctly? In a good sample, half of it should survive. Okay. So how much sperm would you tell a guy to bank if it's the definitive samples for his life? So I usually say, depending on what technology you're going to use, but if your sperm counts normal, three, three ejaculates is one kid's worth of sperm with insemination technology where you would thaw it and then and then turkey based it. Three ejaculates would be more than enough. If they're normal. For IVF. Yeah. So the population you're talking about are maybe cancer survivors. Half of those will not be normal. They're really looking at IVF. Yep. So they don't need that many. Yep. But I'd say three is a good number, but it's an insurance policy.